Testing one, two, three, testing one, two, three, testing, testing that it's in the wrong speaker, not coming out the middle. What the heck is going on? This is driving me crackers. Usually when this happens, it's simply because we've set up our audio inputs wrong inside of Cubase and the audio connections tab. When recording your vocal or guitar, most of the time you're just going to be using one microphone for each thing. So one microphone for your voice, and one microphone for your guitar. And these are known as mono sources because we're recording a mono signal using the one microphone. The only time we ever use stereo tracks to record stereo recordings is for things like overheads on cymbals or if we're doing any foley work or maybe if we're recording acoustic guitar with two different microphones which are matched and set up to capture a stereo image. And we want those two separate recording channels to be summed to a stereo track. When recording anything else, you're usually just using mono. So what's happened here is I've actually gone to record a vocal using a stereo track. And on the stereo track, I have the option of the left or right inputs. Now, if we open up the audio connections tab, use pressing S4 or go into studio and then audio connections, you'll see on the inputs tab, we have a stereo in bus. And so far, the left channel of my, the left speaker is being assigned to input one of my audio interface. So that means if I record my vocal through the input one of my audio interface, it's just going to be played back in the left speaker if we record using a stereo track. And if I record something on, with the uh, input two on the right speaker, say a guitar, that means the guitar is only going to be playing back in the right speaker which isn't correct. So again, going back to what I said, the only time you really need to use a stereo bus is if you're summoning two mono microphones, which are being used to record a stereo image of something. So, you know, this would be your left overhead microphone and this would be your right overhead microphone that you're using. And then we've got a stereo bus, meaning that we can just create a stereo track and record the stereo track and it'll pick up both microphones. Now, what we need to do to fix this for when we're recording vocals or if we're recording anything with just one microphone is remove this stereo bus by right clicking on it. Oops, like so, and go remove stereo bus in. So I'm just going to delete this. And what I want to do is create a mono input for each input of my interface. So I have a two channel input interface, so I'm going to create two mono inputs. I go into add bus and then increasing the count to two and making sure they're mono. Now, input one is now been assigned to the first mono bus and input two has been assigned to the second mono bus. And that means now, if I was to create an audio track in mono, I will have the choice of both of these buses, okay? But to make this less confusing, I'm going to rename these so I know what's what. So if I open up the audio connections again by pressing F4, normally on channel one, I will record uh, either vocal or I might be using the DI input to record guitars. So for the sake of this video, I'm using it for vocal. So I'm just going to name this Vox. And then on channel two, if I do decide to record anything, it might be a separate microphone on an acoustic guitar, just one microphone. So I'm going to call this acoustic. And you can change your audio settings and set them up in different ways, depending on what your recording session is. And you can always save these presets by clicking on the store button. So you can quickly recall different setups for different sessions because sometimes they're never quite the same depending on what you're working on. So now that we've renamed things uh, vocal and acoustic, if I go back to my audio track here I've just created, you'll see now that I have these two inputs which are named and we can select them you know, depending on what we want to record. So when you create an audio track after you set things up, obviously you need to make sure it's in mono and not stereo for this. Otherwise we'll, you know, start doing things that we don't need to do and cause all kinds of problems to pop up, which will cause you more time to troubleshoot. Uh, so I'm going to use a mono recording configuration. I'm going to leave the output as stereo because stereo is the main output for your speakers and headphones. And I'm just going to go to add track. Now we know I'm going to be recording some vocals now, so I've got the vocal input selected and then all I need to do is 
have this red which is record enabled which means we're going to record it's going to record if we hit record and if i want to hear myself back i just click on the monitor button if you want to hear yourself singing along to whatever so if we go over here and start recording something any old thing this should be coming out of the middle of the speakers and not coming out the left or the right like the other one so now when i play things back this should come out the center this should be coming Although a little bit low i'm just going to increase the volume for this video this should be coming out of the middle of the speakers and not coming out the left or the right like the other one okay so that is how we solve the problem of recordings playing back in the left speaker or recordings playing back in the right speaker hopefully you found this useful if you have give it a thumbs up if you've got any questions obviously ask them in the comments box below thank you again for watching and i'll see you all in the next cubase tips video